So the other day while I was showing at work, I was scrolling through Instagram and I see this. Now this is Tyler the Creator's announcement for his new album. And truthfully, I'm not a super fan of Tyler the Creator, but I do love his music and personality. I also think that his story of how he proved everybody wrong, that he's not just the funny guy and he's not just a gimmick and he actually is a musician. His story is like one of the craziest stories I've ever heard an artist prove themselves to, you know? And if you don't know, Tyler the Creator, to give you the abridged version of his story pretty much, or from my perspective at least, in the music industry, nobody took Tyler the Creator like serious, you know? In the beginning stages of his career, he was like literally known as like the guy that nobody would ever expect to get a Grammy or, you know, be able to make these beautiful pieces of music. Did you know that you would get here where you are right now? Oh yeah, I told ev everything that's kind of happened, I've told people like, 12 years ago and people didn't people didn't expect it because they're looking at face value like they don't they don't know what I know they don't know my full potential y'all don't know what I'm gonna be doing in three years I know what the fuck I'm gonna be doing in three years I know what I'm gonna be doing in six months but right. some people can only judge you based off what you've already done and from the jump a lot of people has doubted him and laughed in his face for whatever he had planned for his future you know and a lot of people always underestimated him and if you're truly curious, here's a video that I watched that runs down the whole history of his career, who he is, and, you know, just where he is right now. You should give it a watch. I actually really enjoyed it. However, this is not the purpose of the video. So with the new announcement of Tyler's new album, right, I'm thinking everybody is mad excited. I'm going through Instagram. I'm going through YouTube, TikTok, like all the social media joints. Right. And everybody is lit, including me, because, you know, it's Tyler, the creator. You know, he's a great artist and he's made amazing pieces of music. You know what I'm saying? Everybody seems to be lit. Right. Who the fuck is that guy? Who the fuck is that? No damn well who I am. Who the fuck is that? Now, I'm not knocking who Digital Nas is or his discography and who he's worked with. I know that he's worked on a whole bunch of different projects with a whole bunch of other artists. And I think his biggest one is Donda with Kanye West. And once again, props to you, like 100%. But when I say that I had no idea who the fuck this nigga was until I got on Twitter and started seeing that he has this whole uproar over this nigga's album. And truthfully, I really don't care, but I do think it's kind of funny how niggas are talking down to Tyler like, oh man, come here, come here when you can make something like this and sends a fucking audio file or whatever the fuck he made. And like I said, I'm not knocking down on this man's creative side, his music or anything like that. But clearly, if he's talking like that, he must be in the same type of bracket or must do the same thing that Tyler, the creator does. Right. Like for him to talk about it like this, like he must sing. He said he hate me. That chopper don't have no safety. Uh oh. He must rap. Yeah, I'm going to cut this video short real quick. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I was looking through YouTube, Google, you know, looking through Apple Music, Spotify. Like, I try to look and see what kind of music that he has done where he's neither rapping or singing. I haven't really found anything. I've just been seeing mostly his beats and, like, who he's worked with, which is, like, Yachty, uh, Kanye West, what is Donda Project, and I guess he's worked on Vultures, too. But, I mean, I haven't really seen too much on who he is as an artist like I, I don't know if i'm missing something or you have a specific digital nas song that you would like to share with me please leave it in the comments i'll definitely check it out but until then i just don't understand why you flexing like this when you don't do anything else but make beats you don't have a crazy catalog at least i don't know your catalog like that and your beats must not be as crazy as i think it is if playboy cardi don't even want them so yesterday, artist and producer Digital Nas posted a video to his Instagram story of him sending countless beats to Playboy Cardi. Like when he says he has a hundred more his way, he is not kidding. And as we all know, Cardi is pretty reclusive and doesn't like his name and face in the media that much. 
Which makes Digital Nas posting this kind of a weird flex. But at the same time, it's subliminally hilarious because some of these beats are titled Call Me Bro. And you can see him in the middle of this sending Cardi like, yo, and these are months in between. Granted, I don't know their relationship. I know Digital Nas has produced for Cardi in the past. He worked a lot on Donda. But unless you're trying to like expose somebody, posting private conversations is really never a good idea. And once again, I don't know Tyler, I don't know Digital Nosh, but I think it's kind of like a really bad look and kind of like, it means, at least for me, like I didn't know who he was and for me to see that be like the introduction of who he is and his discography and I didn't even find anything off of his music or what he's done or anything like that. Like I immediately just don't think that he's somebody I need to put my time into. I feel like if you're an artist, Unless you're giving criticism, I don't think you should ever put down another artist's discography or skill set or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Truthfully, for me to see this, and I don't even know this dude, to me it's like a one, like I said, a horrible introduction. And two, it's just, it's not a good look for people that really don't know who you are already. You know what I'm saying? They all, I feel like everybody's kind of looking at you like a prick now, you know? But these are just my opinions. I'm really excited for Tyler's album. Let me know what you think in the comments. You know, if you have your own opinions or you have your own stance, like, let me know, because I would love to hear you out and hear and see what you think about this situation or whatever, you know? Wow.